you guys welcome back to the steel forum i know we had a bit of a hiatus there and uh, as always i refuse to apologize for that <laughs> we are detailers first and foremost so we were off taking care of our customers uh the first thing that always happens when detailers walk away from their desk for a couple days is six weeks worth of work seems to pile up behind them so that has always happened there were two of us gone so that's 12 weeks of work that we've managed to do in the, next, the last couple of weeks. So that's great. A lot of that is behind us and you will see more videos coming out shortly. Today we have what is our most exciting project that we or product that we ran into on the NASCC floor. It's called Quick Frames. It is a, a roof frame substitute. Basically it's a manufactured roof frame with adjustable holes. They've got all the engineering data and the really cool thing is all you have to do is you send them their plans, they do the takeoffs, they prepare you your submittals, and in the end, they ship it to you. They ship it to you quickly and in a matter of days. And by the time when you see what these things cost, at the end of this video, we do have cost information. You're going to have to think about these things seriously. When I first walked up, I thought these things were going to be $800, $900 a piece. And I was like, well, you know, it, it's tough to get fabricators on board with that. But with the labor savings and the safety savings on these things, especially if, when renovating existing buildings, I think these are absolutely a no brainer for a lot of situations. And I hope that us bringing you this information makes just a couple of erectors lives a little bit safer. And hopefully you as fabricators a little bit more money. So take a watch and we'll have more videos coming up here for you soon here on the Steel Forum. Sure. All right, so we're here with Quick Frames. They have, we saw this adjustable roof frame kind of sitting here on the NASCC floor and we thought maybe we could not have to detail all those roof frames. So we're here with uh, Gregory and he's uh, gonna tell us all about it. Sure, so uh, our basic concept for with uh, our adjustable roof frame is originally it was intended and designed to go in from below the deck. That, that's how this whole thing started. Is you know, the man who invented this product, he was a, an iron worker and welder, and he was laying upside down, welding in angle iron up, you know, in his existing structure. And a piece of slag fell in his ear, burned out his eardrum. And he's, you know, like all ideas, there's got to be a start, a genesis. Right? And he said there's got to be a better way, and so he came up with this concept of uh, you know a system that it installs from below. And what that led to then was the ability not only to do that, but he said, I'm so tired of having to deal with coping back, trimming off, or all the other things that go on when the as-builds versus the, you know, the frames as they're detailed by, the, by you guys and uh, as they're delivered by fabricators don't match what actually is out there in the field. And so what we ended up having is a system that is you know, intended to go in front of the roof, in either new construction or tenant improvement, and both sets of rails are adjustable, you know, typically eight to 10 inches in both directions. And that allows huge changes in the industry, including for your, your folks in the detailing world. All we need to know from you now is the location of one corner of one rail, and essentially the dimension running parallel to the zero. And from that, we can do a simple takeoff. There's no need for detailing. We provide drawings to the erector and fabricator who's uh, purchasing the product, and it, from there they just they locate one corner, they install a set of rails, install the other rails, install the intermediate rails, and they're out. In our installs in a in a in open space like this, you know, this conference center here, you could probably get if you've done a few of these 15 minutes. Yeah, this looks like legitimately something I could put together in my home. This looks like a kit that would be look at that simple. It is. And you know, it, one of the things on our website is we show videos of a complete install. And you know, Chase over here is doing it, it took him eight minutes. Now, granted, he's standing around, he's not up in a man, sure. but, all your but nevertheless, he wasn't sweating doing it. So yeah. it, it is a, it's a concept that, yeah, you're right. And, and that's another benefit, too, is if you're a general contractor or you're someone who's uh, is hiring out the work to get this stuff done, you don't have to hire a welder. You don't have to hire somebody to put to um, do all the fire suppression yeah, services. Yeah, I was going to say, right? no fire watch. That's right, no fire watch, uh, as well as no blankets. You, you know, how many Walmarts are there that run 24-7 and they still need to have you know, new units uh, put in or changes to units that require new structural framing or whatever. That, and you can be in, that, that store can stay in production and not have to you know, cover all our merchandise or, or wall off huge sections of the store while a frame of ours is being installed because it's very localized. You just need to get you know space for a man lift, get up and you do it. Right, so a couple of important questions. I assume there's engineering data. There is. 
And one of the things that we do is uh, we, all of our frames are pre-engineered. Uh, our structural design firm is licensed in all 50 states. They've done a set of calculations for us. And, and the calculations are based on a standard building design. Uh, in our case, we, our standard building design is 20 dead, 20 live, 20 snow. That doesn't fit everybody's needs. You right. have higher snow loads. Uh, maybe you're in uh, Dade County and you've got 175 We're from miles. Rochester, New York. We know about snow loads. You've got snow loads. Okay, very good. And my wife was actually, uh, she grew up in Batavia. Okay. So, yeah. Um, so oh, yeah. what we'll do then is in the case where you've got a building design that doesn't meet our standard criteria, we will at no cost to your, to the end customer, provide a set of sealed calcs. And what those calculations is, you know, whatever your building design criteria are, showing the loading of our frames for the sizes that are needed, and uh, we essentially do a delegated design. Is what it boils down to. So we take over all the responsibility for the engineering of the frames, and, and engineers of record love that because I was going to say, given something like a roof frame that's kind of a throwaway standard detail that we see on a lot of contract drawings, I imagine your adoption rate and your acceptance rate is fairly high. It is. It, it, it's very, very good. And right now, you know, we're, we're our business is just kind of growing on an exponential basis because, you know, it's, it's, you know, the construction industry is slow to change, but once the, the momentum starts in the change process, what you end up finding is that, you know, Joe tells Sally, Sally tells Bob, and, and, and you're getting that viral effect besides all the work that we do to try to inform people that our product exists. Right. So one of my next questions um, is going to be the, one of the most important ones. What's the cost and how does it compare to traditional frame? Sure. So, you know, one of the challenges that we had originally was getting fabricators to understand that the cost of a frame is not just the cost of the angle iron. I mean, cost is the entire angle. You would think angle. right off the bat they would understand that. Some do, some don't. In old school, it, they have their mindset and their way of thinking about it. So, um, if you look at the, the total cost envelope, which includes yeah, the metal, the fabrication time, and the detailing time, the time to then or the, the cost to take frames that are fully assembled and deliver them out on the site, because you typically that takes a lot more trailers and tractors to get this stuff out there. Uh, the install time, and in, in particular, the time that is almost always neglected to be considered is the, the rework time, whether it's coordination issues, uh, it's just change orders because, uh, you know, you, let's say you build a shell building and you expect air conditions to go here, so you put air conditions up, a new tenant moves in, they want something different, things have to move and relocate. Um, fabricators are finding that there's a tremendous hidden cost in the change process and especially in the lack of coordination because trades are never hired early. Let's say for a four foot by four foot opening in a, a, a typical joist spacing about five feet on center, what's one of these things go for? You know, assuming we're talking about a standard framing, you're looking at anywhere from 260 to 275 a frame. <laughs> you know, plus shipping. Yeah. Uh, but shipping actually turns out not to be an issue. I mean, you know, FedEx charges the same for one frame as 10 frames. So, you know, we, we tend to say we have a budget of $10 a frame for shipping if you're doing any reasonable quantity. Awesome. Amazing. So, one of the sessions that I attended was what uh, steel erectors love to hate about steel detailers. And in that, he talked a lot about how much he hates it when members are placed on hold uh, for this type of framing, when they don't know where the framing is gonna end up. This would be a great solution to that, that even if the cost of these is, is higher for the, the materials, you're gonna save a lot of money on that guy in the field. Especially if you've got a crane and a crew sitting there waiting for information, they get to a steel bay and they can't erect it and have to come back later, that's gonna be a real killer. This is a great option, we're, really, we're pretty excited to see it. You know, one of the other things that I, I could point out too that, that you know may be of interest to your viewers is the, the, the larger customers that we have, they've actually seen a change in their business model and philosophy when it comes to putting up a building. So let's say you have a self-performing fabricator or erector. What our bigger customers do now is they've realized that the, the whole issue of penetrations, it, it, it will always be with us. I mean, BIM is trying, but it's going to be a long road. So they've decided... They, they make their money throwing up the columns, the beams, the joists, the decking, right? That's where the real money comes in. This is, a, this is a money loser usually. So they'll get in and they'll skin a building, but they won't make one penetration. And then they'll, I, I say they leave, but they won't necessarily leave, right? You're always working on ledgers and things. Sure. But the, the majority of their crew just goes away and later, when all that detail and coordination is figured out, you've actually got the, me the mechanical units purchased from the distributor, mechanical guys ready to go, etc. Then the erector will come back, they'll mobilize a man lift, come in from the inside, cut their hole, install their framing, quick frames, drop the units, and they're gone. And so it, it, 
both from the sense that it's, it's easier to do from the inside because of our system, but because we work so much later in the construction process without incurring that much additional cost, if any additional cost, frankly, to the erector. I mean, erectors and fabricators are really taking us on. So that's what our big customers are doing. Now. So we talked we talked a little bit about the cost. Uh, the, the other big question for me is timeline. How, do, how long does it take between we send you a drawing for takeoff and we can have frames in the field? Sure. Yeah. So uh, you folks are in New York. Shipping time to New York, we use FedEx Freight. Typically, it's three to four days. It just depends on you know their lanes and how busy they are. In terms of getting takeoffs, you know, if you're talking about a, a typical job, say 25, 30 frames, you know, and not, not some giant warehouse where you've got hundreds and hundreds of frames, but, you know, you're normally going to get your boat back in less than 24 hours. Usually we do those in three or four hours. And then in terms of, of time for us, oh, if we're, we're getting a the go ahead from the customer to manufacture the frames, we don't fabricate our frames, they're manufactured. And so as a result, we've got production lines, tooling, machinery. And so we spit these out large quantities every day we maintain inventory so it's not uncommon for you know a, a person a fabricator let's say or a general contractor to call us in the morning and say I'm in Florida I'm in trouble I need 25 frames and the frames are on the truck that afternoon awesome all right Greg thank you so much it's been really interesting I see the website is quickframes.us and the phone number we'll put it in the show notes obviously uh, but make sure to reach out to them at least have the information on hand so that when you get into a project you can help your customer, whether it's the architect, the engineer, the fabricator, or even the erector. Thanks for visiting us again on the Steel Forum.